she says statistically that black women are the least amount to be mm-hmm. um, partnered with. with. Like, like, make it bleak. We are the most likely to die alone. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am the one, the only, Mrs. Rose Wilson, and you have entered Mom Chronicles 2.0. Once again, we're dropping jewels for Mom Sweet Tea. Just because of tea does not mean it's gossip. Okay, y'all, I'm back with my home skillet, Tiffany. <laughs> okay, and today we're talking about why. I would say our generation do not care to get married, mm-hmm. okay? Um, and I say our generation because they're like gung-ho on marriage. And a lot of them are gung-ho, like do it till you get it right mm-hmm. type of situation. But our generation, um, the millennials, they're like, married? Ah, not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Do you need to get married? Do you want to obligate? Like... You don't have to get married to have a good relationship to make your or to have a good life in general. To have a good life in general, it does marriage does not solidify a good a good relationship. It does not validate the yeah. relationship. So, um, I want to know what you think about that because we were talking about this in another video. Um, it's called potential versus ambition. That video will be in our description. Go check that video out because that's, that's what led to this video. And that's a really good video. Okay? What do you think about people... No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to change this question, actually. Do you agree that um, it's just, like, cool for somebody just to, like, two people just to be in a relationship for a long period of time, no marriage? Um, and if that's what they want to do, they can have kids, they can have a long less relationship. Do you agree that, that that can actually work? Yeah, totally. I disagree. I don't think you work. I, it, I think at worked. some point it has worked for people. It I just it has. I don't think it's I feel for like it's everyone. A small com- That's right. It's not for everyone. I think there are a lot of people who, myself included, who think you know at one point or another it's pointless. I don't need to get married. I don't want to mm-hmm. get married. There's no need. Who cares? Okay. okay. Now I've got a little bit older. I feel like I say that all the time. Now that I've got a little bit older. It is something that's on the table. Like okay. if it happened, wonderful. Right. If it doesn't happen. Cool. I think I mentioned in another video that everyone is not guaranteed to be partnered. Just statistically, everyone does not end up partnered. With that too. Stati- it's, with a, that. it's a fact. I feel like <laughs> I feel like part if you when it comes to relationship, there's always something for everybody, and I think you find that person because you got everybody see, though. I, statistically, I think, black women are the least likely to be partnered in life. This is a fact. That's <laughs> that right I'm not there. making this up. Do your Googles. Do your Googles. She dropping, she she dropping, she dropping gems, y'all. She says that statistically that black women are the least amount to be mm-hmm. um, partnered with. Like, like make it bleak. We are the most likely to die alone. That's feel sorry for us. Like, like feel sorry. Like, Don't do that. We don't. I'm bomb. Like. Yes. And I know I'm here already. I get that. But you're bomb. And our friends are bomb. Like, you know what I'm saying? How are we just underrated like that? Like, um, well, I think that's a, a that's a bigger question. That's another video, I think. Because I could go on and on about societal societal pressures, societal norms. Okay. So a it's lot a lot that goes into us kind of being underrated. Under well, I mean that's not exclusive to us. Another statistic <laughs> on dating apps: Black women, Asian men, the least pursued on dating apps. Why we don't just come together and like? How come I didn't know it? Women? Because you're not single. <laughs> you don't need to. You don't need to learn these I'm single need to facts. Learn these single single facts. You don't need to know these single facts. Mm-hmm. Black women, Asian men. Would you date? All I'm saying is, all, all types Asian of men. Would you date Asian men? Oh yeah, totally. Okay, I can see it. Yeah. Like, that'd be really cool, actually. Mm-hmm. But with black women, especially successful black women, mm-hmm. okay, successful black women, I mean, you may be degreed um, and have this amazing career. You may have a success, maybe an entrepreneur. You may be so many, you know, you have this success career-wise and everything, but you're willing to just take what you can get because either you're 
clock is ticking, biological mm-hmm. clock is ticking. You know, you don't want to be by yourself. You had all the success in your career and your, your social life, but you don't have, you know, a boy at home. You don't have, and I feel like it's a, I, I hear, I'm not going to say I feel, I hear it's a lot of black women that are deciding to say, hey, I don't want to be married because um, I'm, I'm going to get what I get and don't throw a fit type of situation. So I hear, I hear that a lot. I, I don't know about the I'll take what I can get part of it, um, but definitely it just it's it's not always a priority for everybody. Um, mm-hmm. So like when I was younger, it was not a priority. It wasn't on my radar. Didn't really care. It was just kind of like whatever. I just having fun, doing my thing. I'm young, wild, having fun. It just it isn't as big a priority. Um, I. But why? Why it's not a why? Why, why is why having this relationship? Ask the same question. Why should it be a main priority for us? For any of us? Because in the long run, that can differentiate between um, who gets what mm-hmm. if that person passes away. For you know, Lord forbid that happens. Um, yes, they may have one person um, as the beneficiary, but they, if you have three kids with that person. Mm-hmm. The, all three kids have to need to be a beneficiary. Yeah. So that could that could depend on one kid getting everything to everything being being split appropriately to the uh, the spouse. Well, I mean, even if it's not on there as a beneficiary, things go into like probate and all that and all the. But that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of yeah. work when it could have right. just been. If you could have just been prepared, if you could have set all of that up up front, I get it. I get it. Um, because that does happen. But I think, so I think the reason that it's less important now as opposed to previous generations is just yeah. how the generations have progressed. So you've got okay. like, you know, pre, um, pre-World pre War, one of them, two, I think. When was Rosie the Riveter a thing? That was, I think that was World War I. Okay. Um, but before women, regardless of which one, before women really went into the workforce, that is what we did. We might have gone to college, but we went to college to find a husband. We got married, we had kids, and that was the extent that of what life. women did in this world. So now women so have a lot, of, lot more... Yeah, so then we have more options now. So then women enter the workforce, the men are gone, women are running things, Rosie the Riveter is, you know, doing her thing. I think, I don't think she was an actual person. And then you've got, like, this whole generation of women following that who, that is, it's this new opportunity, it's this new world. We can go to college and get degrees and actually use them. Women are now, you know, doctors and lawyers and politicians and police Mayors officers and, and firefighters. And, you know, women are entering the workforce with some amount of equal opportunity. <laughs> and it gets better and better and better. And well, now we're at a point where women can thrive. Married. It's not necessarily eliminating it. It just makes it less important. Because that was the goal for women. Okay, that was I all women had for a like long time. Was that married should be and just kids. as you have the successful life. You have you can be the mayor of a utopia. I'm not sure if that's a real city, Is but it? I know uh, <laughs> you can be the mayor of utopia. You can still have, have your city husband. Like why? Why do you have to have a husband? Why do you have to get married? Why wouldn't you want to get married? Why do you, I just told you we we got other options. We go to school. We can work. You can do all. Have to, we don't. That's be, the thing. You can do all that. And so still why do you have to get married? Why? Because it's a union between two people. So what? Why is that? Why is that a necessity? Um. Why is that a requirement okay, for your life to so, be fruitful and fulfilled? As well, as fruitful, coming from in that no in, in, in that from, regard, but fruitful in any and of your fulfilled. pursuits. No, I I I agree with you. Um, from come it. First of all, it's a, it's a mind state. So, um, when I was a girlfriend, I can completely see the difference the way I think now compared to being a wife. Okay. So, the woman and the man that would say, hey, marriage is not a big deal, they would have to be in s- such a different mind state and they would obviously have to be on the same page. Like, mm-hmm. they, they would have to be a union, with, I was, like you said, without the paperwork. Mm-hmm. And that to me, that normally which does. is a thing. There's common law marriage. No, that common law marriage just means y'all been together. That doesn't mean that y'all are on the same page mentally, physically, emotionally. No, it doesn't. But as far as all the things that come with being married, you can be common law marriage and still get the benefits of that insurance but, beneficiary. But that's, that. that just means that y'all been together. Yeah, that's all marriage means too. 
No. What else does marriage no. mean? Well, I wish marriage was just what, me. We what else does together. marriage mean? Marriage means that y'all literally mentally got to be on the same place. Why Even can't you can't... be that way without marriage? With with another person? That's not, yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying. That's a mind state that you have to, that you're in. So you don't so, have to get married. But it it takes. It, I don't know. It takes, I don't know what it is. It takes something about those two people to be in a contract. I don't <laughs> know of two people who aren't married that are in that mindset that, okay, marriage doesn't matter, but we still on the, I guess, the same road like we're married. Mm -hmm. That just think that way or or in that same mindset. Again, I don't know too many people that who don't want to get married. So maybe that that is probably my, my reasoning. Somebody who is married. Who had just gotten married not too long ago. She was like, but you know, there's tons of people who don't want to get married. Mm -hmm. Right? And another young lady who had been with her significant other since that was like in his 10th grade. They had went to college together. They were scholars. I think she was number one. He was number two in the high school graduating class. Okay, she. Okay. <laughs> um, they both got scholarships to a HBCU, she got the Bill Gates scholarship. She now has a PhD. Um, she's a psycho psychologist. One of them. Yes, one of them. Um, does very well, but then he, she found out he was cheating on her, so they broke up. They had three kids together. Uh -huh. Okay, so now she gets with another dude. You know, she's been with this boat man for her entire life, sixteen years, mm -hmm. and they get married about seven years in. You know, because they were together high school sweethearts. Um. She gets on there and says, you know, I'm dating, but I would never want to get married again. Okay. Okay. I never How long have they I'm been good. apart? How long have they been divorced? Um, maybe a few years, maybe three years or something like that. She's got burned. She got burned. She got burned. She's got engaged. She's like, do. Mm, yeah, see, she got <laughs> burned, but she, she was like, never again. Never. And she found somebody and was like, okay. <laughs> But that's what we do. We have we change. We our our perspectives change throughout life. It's that but there are some people again. that are just like I can have all the ooey gooey feelings without the contract. There are people that I feel, feel like, like I marriage is pointless and meaningless. And I, I it feel feels like, like a lot of ceremony for exactly what you were doing before. I didn't have that. I didn't have no ceremony. Well, well no, I don't mean literal ceremony, oh, okay. but just like even going in and doing the paperwork and all that stuff is that's a, that's a part of the ceremony. But everybody doesn't need it, that to for their perspective for them to. No, that's true. Everybody does not need in that. A, I, got, I just I don't I understand that a marriage is a little more intense than it not is. being in a marriage, and, and but you can still have all of that. In a common law marriage or not married at all. The, what I'm saying is just take unique individuals to, to do that. Yeah, I just, um, I just I, think you have to be like minded to be on that. To to be like where I'm at now. Now if I was this is when I when I got married years ago, I would have been like, No, you can't be with nobody and say y'all just gonna be together and there's no there's no you know, no marriage idea of marriage. People that decide to not get married, but they just want to be together, be, they just want to be together. I think it, it just takes two unique individuals to do yeah. that. You, you have do to have be to be in the right state of mind to enter into that situation. You do. I'm, I'm not a fan of a long, drawn-out relationship with no marriage at some point. I think that's just kind of like the natural order of things. Like, I agree that once you've been with somebody so long, like, come on, let's just go ahead and do this and yeah. just make it a fish um, but I don't think it's a requirement. A fish. A fish. Yeah. I don't think it's. I don't think it's a requirement. I don't think it's necessary for that relationship to be just as fruitful as a marriage. Okay. Um, I also going back to what I said previously. Everyone is not going to be partnered. It's just something that we have to accept as human beings. Just everyone doesn't get married. Everyone doesn't get married. Everyone doesn't no, stay I, married. I agree with everyone doesn't get married. Everyone doesn't uh, stay married. But I do believe that you have a soulmate that... Yeah, so how do you know you're going to meet that soulmate? There are people... I that, say I knew everything. There I'm are close. people that live in their hometowns their whole life. The entirety of the world yes. exists. And you think that person you met in your hometown is your soulmate? You think all billions of people and your soulmate lives in your hometown? Probably not. Probably not. Chet from up the block is not your soulmate. Not your soulmate. Maybe. Maybe. 
the universe put your soulmate right but in your you pocket. But you got a soulmate, and there's Tinder, there's Bumble, there's what else is it? Come on, I don't know. You know what I mean? There's Raya. There's uh. Is it Chet up the block? You said Chet up the block. Chet, freaking Chet. Chet, and Chet probably crazy. He probably had like. Pitch. Chet is a douchebag. Something. <laughs> I don't know. Probably got some growing in his basement. And he fertilizes it. It's not and what you want. Pink nails. No. No. Mm -mm. I'm just saying, y'all, don't mess with Chet of the block. I, no, what I think Especially about. Especially if he's black. Because a black Chet is just bad business. <laughs> oh, and Chet, I, that's to be expected. But a black Chet? You gotta ask that family questions. Uh, what was that the name? In a small town with already it's like 500 people? Yeah, we got a problem. We have a problem. Yeah. Heard people say, like, oh, I know somebody that I don't and actually know two people that are in a relationship that don't want to get married. I don't know. I feel like most like of that. the people I know like that are older. They're in their like 40s, 50s. They've been there, done that. My and mom they're just in like, my 60s been talking about she's still trying to find, she's trying to find her husband. So I, you know, shout out to my mom um, and my aunts, you know, they've said the same thing. So when I hear somebody older, like you said, are they still talking about getting Jump in the room. When like, I hear younger, young, young people say it, like when we were younger and we said it, I feel like now that was really weird to be so young and to have already lost so much hope. Yeah. <laughs> the world. Not really have, you know, no idea. Yeah, everything like, is still new and shiny. Yeah. You should still be optimistic you about that. You should be very optimistic, mystic, very optimistic about you know, marriage to, you just never, like, cause you, obviously you say, okay, by 22 I'm gonna have this, by 25 I'm gonna have oh, this, yeah. by 27, and the reality is you have no idea how your life is gonna go. Nope. No idea how the tables are gonna turn. So, Probably not gonna go the way you um, want it to. When ever. you do, when two people get together and say, okay, marriage is, you know, they both equally agree. Marriage is not a big, you know, not our number one priority. Us being monogamous, having a family, creating this lifestyle, for us and our family and our future, um, it's it's interesting. Dude. Like I'd be wanting to know. Ooh, okay, what's going? I would want to know. Ooh, what? Why did y'all come upon that? Like, what was the mind? Uh, what kind of mindset y'all was in behind y'all having this conversation? Because even though I didn't want to get married, every girl dreams of her wedding. Oh yeah. You know the you know the perfect bridesmaids dresses or whatever the case may be, and so. Um, a little bit of me struggles with, you know, some women decide to say, okay, I'm good on marriage. Because I always feel like there's something negative behind it. Even though, like I said, I shouldn't. That's probably negative. Maybe but that's what I think. In some cases. I think for me, it was... I think for me, it was, it was a little negativity in there. Okay. I just didn't see... It's still, even now, I, st I will never budge on the fact that it is not necessary. It's not a requirement. It was a requirement for me. My, to me, it's simple commitment. Like, I feel like if you wasn't married, you weren't committed to the relationship. But I expect that from you even before we get married. That's just an expectation. If we are in a committed relationship, okay, okay. we are in a committed relationship. Okay. And I expect you to conduct yourself no different, no differently after we sign that piece of paper. I don't want you to be like, well, there are some things that I am not willing to give or give up to mm -hmm. someone I am not married to okay um I just I do I do want to get married at some point um but until that happens there I am going to live my life according to the way I want to live but every marriage is different so you are able to to adjust your marriage how yeah it would, there's, it would just, there's certain circ there's certain sacrifices I will not make for someone I am not married to I want to ask what but that's another conversation. What you um, ask what the sacrifices I, I, are? I want to know one. Um, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> What's your question? Is it a question or you want me to just throw one out there? I just want to throw, just throw one just out there. Just throw one out there? Um, yeah. I'm not going to sacrifice my career and my future and my oh, dreams absolutely. for someone absolutely. I'm not married it's, to. This I'm not going to put the you brakes was, on anything I'm pursuing for someone I'm not married to. If you was there's no, there's no 22... Guarantee. I can see you. I can see you. I mean, I, c I couldn't see you saying that because you still got so much of your life ahead. Of you. I'm not saying you don't have a whole bunch of your life left, but now you're in your thirty. You've been in your career for five years, and you know all this other stuff. I'd be like, hey, no, I don't sacrifice your dreams. I'm about to read. I look like I'm in Quit. Well, close to me. Okay, so we're talking. 
do the cute shuffle. So I want you to know the first first of all, I hate this song. Like to the <laughs> core. But as soon as it come on, I'll be like <sighs> Like I can't help with it, but I cannot <laughs> stand that song. That I learned it this fast in the club. I was so impressed with myself. Cause your girl be dancing. Girl. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. Used to.